What is good Guardians? This is your boy Killer Afghan back with another Destiny 2 video. Before we dive into things, I want to take a moment to thank you. I really appreciate all the support you've given me. Over the past few weeks I've received a lot of positive feedback as well as the subscription rate for my channel has gone up. These things are really important and making these videos is not easy, so having that support makes it that much sweeter. Thank you guys and keep up the support. With that being said, please don't forget to click that thumbs up button below or subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. This way you'll be the first to know when new content is released. As well as, please leave some feedback. I'm always looking forward to reading ideas about how I can improve my channel or things that you guys like. As many of you may already know, on Tuesday, January 29th, 2019, Bungie released update 2.1.4 for Destiny 2. In this update, there was a lot of different fixes in it. But in addition to those fixes, they also released the quest steps to get the last word. For those guardians that are new to Destiny 2 or never played Destiny 1, you may not know what the last word is. It was a exotic hand cannon in Destiny 1 and a fan favorite for PvP. This gun was nasty and had an insane rate of fire. And now it's come to Destiny 2 and many guardians, including myself, went right after it. In this video, I'm going to cover the quest steps and some tips and tricks on how you can quickly get yourself the last word. Now I know some of you guardians just hate having to wait through an entire guide to know how to get a weapon and you just want the short, fast, quick version of this. So I'm going to start by giving you a very quick high overview that skips over a lot of the tips but gives you the meat. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to the tower and talk to the drifter to start the draw quest. This is the quest that gives you the last word. The first step in this is called the cleansing and you're going to have to head to Mars and defeat Hive with solar damage collect Hive tablets, and defeat Hive bosses. Once that's complete, you're going to get a cleansed artifact, and you're going to have to go back to the Drifter and talk to him. He's going to give you step two, which is called the Temptation. This one calls for you to kill Guardians in the Crucible. So head there. Once you complete that, you are given the Damnation quest. And for this, you're going to have to head to Titan, and then you're going to disrupt a Hive ritual. Once you complete that one, you're going to get a helmet that you have to go show the Drifter, so head to the tower. When you talk to the Drifter, he's going to give you step four, called the Sullied Light Quest Step. This one requires you to do four different things. You have to collect Edge Crystals, you have to get Crucible Metals, Hive Larva, and complete Heroic Hive Rituals. Once you complete that, head back to the Drifter to get the last quest step. The last quest step is called the Conversation, and you're going to have to head to the Tangled Shore. And once you complete this quest step, you will be rewarded the last word. Congratulations, big bang done. Now that we're done with the overview, and those that still want to stick around, we're going to go through this bit by bit, and I'm going to share with you tips and tricks on how you can get this done fairly quickly. So don't forget, the first thing you need to do is you need to load into the tower and go visit the Drifter. He'll have a quest called the Draw, and once you pick up that quest, if you look in your inventory, you'll see the first quest step is titled The Cleansing, and it reads, Purge the Artifact of Its Sickness. And to do so, you'll have to do three things. You'll have to defeat Hive with solar damage. You'll have to collect 75 Hive tablets. And you'll have to defeat three Hive bosses. The easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is head to Mars and take advantage of the Escalation Protocol and Lost Sectors. Using the Escalation Protocol and Lost Sectors on Mars will allow you to get through the Hive tablets and the Hive bosses very quickly. And if you do those things while you're using solar power weapons or energy weapons, you'll knock out all three tasks in no time. What I did was I used Sunshot, the exotic hand cannon, as an energy weapon, and I used a solar sword, and between the two, I was able to get all three tasks done in a matter of minutes. Once you complete that, you'll notice in the middle far right of your screen, the cleansed artifact quest step will appear. And if you look in your inventory, you'll see that it's telling you that you have to go back to the Drifter. So head back to the tower and head straight to the Drifter, and when you talk to him, he'll give you a new quest step called the Temptation. And that is the second quest step out of the five that you need to complete. To complete the Temptation quest step, which is the second out of five quest steps to get the last word, you're going to have to defeat Guardians in the Crucible. And my understanding is you get points for kills and you lose points for deaths. I'm not exactly sure of the math, but I've heard that you get 2% for a final blow, plus 1% for a kill, and negative 2% for a death. Again, I haven't been able to verify the math and I haven't seen anything from Bungie yet that shows the exact values. If any of you do know or have sources, please list them in the comments below. 
Some tips to help you get through this fairly quickly. I was lucky enough to be able to get it through in my second Crucible Quick Play match, and I didn't go in with a fire team. But given the way that the math works, it is much more beneficial to go in with a fire team. So go ahead and use the Destiny app to find a fire team, use your clan mates or anybody on your friends list, and head to Crucible. And I would definitely use whatever weapons you're most comfortable with that allows you to rack up kills while avoid having deaths. So once the Temptation quest step, Guardian's defeated progress bar reaches 100% from kills in the Crucible, you will unlock the next quest step. And in the middle far right of your screen, you'll see the Damnation quest step icon appear. And if you go to your inventory and check the quest step, it reads, you must uncover a dark ritual on Titan to stop the Twisted Ceremony. For this quest step, you will have to go to Titan. And when you look at Titan in the map, you'll see that there's a blue banner that you must activate once you land on Titan to start this quest step. Once you activate the quest on Titan, you're going to go and follow your map downstairs underneath the rig into a lost sector. Once you enter the lost sector, you'll find a bunch of hive ads as well as two hive wizards and a hive acolyte boss with the yellow health bar on the back platform. You won't be able to do damage to him as he has an overshield and that overshield will remain until both wizards are down. The ads will keep respawning. I recommend that you destroy both wizards relatively in succession of one another and then save your super, I had blade barrage, on the boss. That will allow you to kill him rapidly as his shield goes down because there is a timer and if you take too long to kill him, his shield will go back up and more wizards will appear. It's as simple as that. I did it by myself. You don't really need a fire team, although you could definitely grab one. Just go in there with something like Thunderlord and have your super ready for the boss. Once you destroy the boss, you'll see a new Jagged Purpose quest step appear on the middle far right of your screen with an icon of a broken what looks like to be a Titan's helmet. You're going to have to go back to the Drifter and show him the helmet that you found. Upon your arrival to the tower, and as you head to the Drifter, when you get there, you'll notice he'll read you some lore. The lore states, the ritual you disrupted on Titan intrigues the Drifter. He believes that a certain Hive wizard was behind a twisted ceremony. She was betrothed to a Hive weapon master, and the two were responsible for the creation of new weapons of sorrow. It's time for a ritual of your own. Once you click X to accept that, you'll unlock the fourth quest step called Sullied Light. This quest step reads, The Hive Weapon Master is creating new weapons of sorrow. You need to stop it. Gather powerful objects to sully your light and complete the ritual. You'll have to collect 15 etched crystals. You'll have to collect 25 crucible metals, 50 hive larvae, and 3 heroic hive rituals. Now guys, I'm going to warn you, quest step 4, the Sullied Light, is the longest quest step of the bunch, and definitely longer than anything you've accomplished thus far. But don't be disheartened, your boy Kill Afghan is going to give you some tips and tricks that will allow you to complete these quest steps as fast as possible, and you'll get your last word sooner than you know it. The first objective is to get you the 15 edge crystals, and we're going to get that by going to Earth. Now there's a very fast and quick way to do this, utilizing a lost sector located in Firebase Hades. So go ahead and use the Gulch Landing Zone, which is located on the top right of the bottom map for Earth, right of Firebase Hades. Once you land, you're actually gonna head west towards the Firebase. And in the Firebase Hades section, there's two lost sectors. The lost sector that's closest to the Gulch Landing Zone is the one we're interested in. It's called Pathfinder's Crash Lost Sector. Go ahead and head in there. Now, if you didn't know, the Pathfinder's Crash Law Sector on Earth is very easy to farm, and each run shouldn't take you more than 30 to 45 seconds. The other great thing is, you can use the Whisper of the Worm and pretty much keep your distance from the boss and keep getting your ammo back by getting quick shots and killing the boss, rinsing and repeating very quickly. So what you're going to do with Whisper of the Worm equipped, head into the Lost Sector and go through the caves. As soon as you finish the last tunnel that you come out of, look right and you'll see three ads there. Kill those ads with a hand cannon, shotgun, whatever, as quickly as possible. And head right back into the cave that you just came from and wait. What you'll notice is a dropship that will come in the far back of the arena and it will drop the wanted Zer, the unstoppable weight boss. Now his crit spot is the backpack that he has over his shoulders. So just squat there 
and hit him in that crit spot and you'll regenerate your ammo fairly quickly and kill him. As soon as he's dead, you'll notice that he'll drop an etch crystal. You get one per run. Now you don't have to run up there to grab it. So all you do is turn around and go back out of the lost sector. And as soon as you see the message appear that you're out of the lost sector and you're back at Firebase Hades, turn back around and head right into the cave and rinse and repeat. You'll be able to do your 15 edge crystals fairly quickly with about 30 to 40 seconds per run. The second objective for the Sullied Light quest step is to get 25 Crucible Medals. We're going to go ahead and skip that one for now because you can complete the next two together and they're fairly simple. Objective 3 is to get 50 Hive Larva, which you get by getting Hive Precision Shots. And number 4 is 3 Heroic Hive Rituals Completed, which you get 1 for every Witch's Ritual Public Event you complete. Now the way that I was able to complete these two quest steps fairly quickly was by farming the Witch's Ritual Public Events on Titan and Mars. On Titan, you're going to look at the public event that's by the rig, and on Mars, you're going to look at the public event by the Glacial Drift Wavepoint. Now, some tips for getting this done quickly. You don't need a fire team, although a fire team always helps. I soloed it, and I was still able to get it done fairly quickly using Thunderlord or Hammerhead as my power weapon, which allowed me to turn the public events into heroic public events, even though I was by myself. Other tip I'll also give you is you can launch Crucible matches while you're waiting for these public events to spawn either on Titan or Mars. There may be other locations. These are just the two that I used. If you have other locations that are helpful, please feel free to list them in the comments field below. With these two objectives complete, we can now go back to the 25 Crucible medals that we skipped earlier. The way you get these medals is by completing the Best Surf Cold medal, which is awarded for landing the killing blow on an enemy that last killed you, or the Blood for Blood medal, which is awarded for killing an enemy that just killed an ally. Now there's definitely many strategies you can use to get this, but I just simply jumped into quick play. I didn't even have a fire team, I played with randoms, followed them around and just played the matches. It took me about three to four matches to complete this. With that being said, there's definitely a lot of different strategies that are out there that you can use, and any of them that you're comfortable with, go for it. One that I heard that's fairly popular but I didn't get to try was to actually use the Mayhem game type as you get your supers fairly quickly, and since everyone has supers, there's a good chance that somebody you killed just killed an ally or recently killed you. Once you've completed all four objectives, the Sullied Light quest step will be complete, and at this point, you'll have what's called the Sorrow's Road quest step. This will automatically appear in your inventory, and it will tell you that you basically have all you need to track the Hive Weapon Master, and you need to go visit the Drifter. So once again, you're going to have to get back to the tower and back to the Drifter. Once you reach the Drifter, you'll talk to him, and he'll give you a little bit of a speech, and after that, you'll get the quest step, the conversation. This is the fourth quest step and the last one you need to complete to get your last word. This quest step reads, Ankar, the Hive Weapon Master, is hiding in the Hellrise Canyon in a tangled shore. Hunt him down. So at this point, you're almost there, so just hang tight. You went through most of the hurdles, and you're on the fourth and final quest step. What you need to do is head over to the tangled shore, and you're going to land in the Thieves Landing Waypoint located on the bottom right of the map. And as soon as you land there, head south. You'll notice a blue banner on your map for the quest called The Draw. And that quest will require you to hunt down Ankar, the Hive Weapon Master. Its recommended power level is 500, similar to all the other quests that were a part of this. Uh, again, I did this by myself. A fire team doesn't hurt, but you don't really need one. Now, there's not much that really stands out as far as this quest goes. It's pretty much a rudimentary quest. You just go through and kill wiz wizards and hive until you get to Ankar. There is a mechanic when you fight Ankar, and it's kind of like a Wild West movie. Uh, kind of like the good, the bad, and the ugly, where you kind of stand in front of him and you pick up the last word and you have to shoot the gun out of his hand uh, in the same sequence that it's shown to you. So originally it would just be you and him, then it'll be two versions of him, and then it'll be three versions of him. And as, follows, as long as you follow the correct sequence and you shoot the gun out of his hand before he shoots you, you'll get the last word. Easy breezy, nice and cheesy. Once you drop the bag on Ankar and beat him to the draw, you're gonna get two things. First, the last word, the exotic hand cannon. Yes, finally, you got it, and guess what? You didn't have to go back to Drifter just to get it and turn into Quest. Finally, Bungie gets it right and removes the damn requirement to have to go back to the Drifter just to unlock the next Quest step. But wait a minute, you get something else as well. You also get a Darker Path Quest step. Duh! No, Bungie made you go back to the Drifter again. 
But it's okay. This is just so you can have a conversation with Drifter. And a lot of what he says, I think, is a follow-up to the next expansion. So I'm not going to go into details and spoil it for you here. But feel free to go turn in that quest and show the Drifter your new last word hand cannon. Congratulations, guys. You got it. So now you got the gun, and that's it for the video, boys and girls. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button below if you like the video, as well as subscribe to the channel and be the first to know when new content is released. And as always, leave comments below. I'm always interested in reading your feedback. I guess I'll catch you later, Guardians. Take it easy.